How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 9 in my HTML and CSS series. And in this video we're going to be going over displaying images in your website. So let's just go to my Windows Explorer that I have open so I can show you where I have these images saved. So you'll see here, here's our web file. So images.html. Here's the first image which is uh, just a random picture of Earth. Um, so this is going to be the image we're going to display that's in the same directory. Now I have this random subdirectory called uh, directory and if we go in there you'll see I got this picture of the moon. Alright so that'll be so I can show you how to display an image in a subdirectory. Now one thing I did not mention in my links video which applies basically the same for web pages it does for images um, is well what if you have a web page that's in a super directory. How do you uh, link to that? Well, to make up for that, I'm going to show you how to display an image that's located in a super directory, and then the uh, same logic is used for linking to other websites. So don't worry about that. Um, and there, I just got a random picture that was taken by the Hubble telescope. All right. So the tag that we use for images is the IMG tag, and it is actually a single tag. Why is it a single tag? Well, it's not necessary to have, you know, text that's going to be displayed between, you know, an opening and closing tag. All that we want is to display an image. We don't want to, you know, display text along with that image. If you want to, you can always put a paragraph above or below it, but text isn't necessary to be part of an image. So what we're going to do is we're going to specify two different parameters for an image. The first one is the SRC tag which stands for source. What this is is specifying where the image can be found. Oops. Uh, the other tag that uh, tag parameter that we have to specify is alt. So ALT. What this is is the alternative text that will be displayed if the image can't be found. So let's just start by displaying my picture of Earth. So it was Earth I believe it was a JPEG, so .jpg. The alternative text we're going to display is um, just something random, so oops. Sorry, could not find your image. Okay. So that is for an image that's in the same directory. Now, for our next two images, they're in different directories. The first one is in a subdirectory. So let's do that one first. And that one is moon. So that was our picture of the moon. Now it's in a directory called directory. So we put our period to specify in this directory. Then we're going to go down into the subdirectory called directory. And then our forward slash there. So it's going to look in this directory uh, folder for this picture of the moon. Now the last uh, image that we're adding in is that Hubble Space one. Um, I just want to make sure I don't remember what I called that. Uh, so it's called Hubble and let me just make sure. I knew the first two were JPEGs and this one is as well. Um, okay. Good thing I noticed that. So the JPEG tag or extension is actually .jpg. There's no e there. Okay, and yeah, so that one is Hubble. Well, how on earth are we going to specify to look in a folder above this one? Well, the period specifies in this one. To specify in one above, you put a dot dot. So that specifies go up one level, and then our slash and then hubble.jpg. Now, you can do this multiple times. So just say it was in two parent directories up, you could always do dot dot slash dot dot slash again. So that says go up two directory levels and look for this image. We only need one though. So save that and let's run this in Chrome. Now, I did not realize the images was that were that big, but there's our beautiful picture of Earth displayed there. There's our one of the moon right here. 
and finally here's the image taken by Hubble okay so all our images are showing up now just to show you what happens I am going to delete one of these images I'll delete this one here okay now let's refresh this and let's go down to the bottom and you'll see here we have our alternative text that says oops sorry could not find your image alright guys thank you so much for watching that's all I have for you this time Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.